Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be going over this new Airy product that I got so that you can reduce your internet bill. Now what I'm currently doing is running a test on my speeds prior to installing the new modem just to see if there's any difference. And again, something that I've noticed and it's the reason why I'm doing this video is because I haven't seen this product uh, reviewed specifically on YouTube. Maybe it can help you as you do your modem research. And I'll be going through the steps required to replacing your modem. Uh, depending on your internet browser, you might need different steps. But in my case, I have Optimum. So I'll show you guys uh, the process for that. If you have another internet provider, I'll make sure I post a link down in the description so that you guys can check out to see what are your specific processes. All right, so here we go. It's the Aries Surfboard. Model SB6183. And I got this one in black. Is, is the model that supports 600 megabytes per second so this is the one that I'll be working with all right very quickly I wanted to do a quick unboxing with you all just to show you guys what it is that is included one thing I want to bring up is that this model does not support um, phone lines so this will not be able to handle both your internet and if you have phone so as we have a rundown through the unboxing you can see that this contains the model itself the modem and it also contains the power supply and the cat 5 e cable as well as some instruction manuals and as you guys can see this is proof that this brings the cat 5 e cable all right so the first step you got to do is just connect this modem to a power supply and have it turn on for a while and this is what happens when you first boot it up then what i did was connect it to my internet line just so I can get it uh, familiar with my service provider. And what you want to do next is go into this link, which I'll leave down in the description so that you guys can follow. And again, this is just for the Optimum online subscriptions, subscribers. Again, if you have a different service provider, there are different uh, processes you're going to have to take. So I'll leave a link in the description for that as well so that you can find it. But these are the steps that you need to do for Optimum. And now here moving forward, I'm going to show you guys some screen cap that I got from my phone because I was doing everything on the spot. Uh, I didn't want it to go back and forth. But as you can see, the first thing they're going to ask you is your account number, which you can find here. The rest is pretty easy. Just fill out your phone number and your last name, which you have registered under your account. As soon as that's taken care of, they're going to ask you if you want to exchange an existing modem. Just click yes. And here's where you're going to put in your MAC address for your modem. It should be located underneath the, the modem itself. Okay, here's some of the fallbacks of doing things in mobile. I, I think it's because like um, I was receiving an error message whenever I would submit this form uh, on the Optimum webpage. So that's why I would probably do this on a computer if you have the opportunity. But again, I just kept redoing this until it worked. Uh, and then eventually it... So yeah. And after certain trials and errors, I was finally able to get into this page where it's going to ask you which modem is it that you want to replace. So just check the so just check the rental modem's MAC ID and then make sure it matches to the one you're trying to replace. Uh, click on the one respectively and hit submit. And just like that, you're able to replace your rental modem with the, with the new one you just bought. You didn't have to call any support team or any IT. You can all do this all online. And now once the setup is all complete, you'll see these blue lights on your new modem. And then it'll eventually start flashing, meaning that it's all good to go. And now we'll run some tests to see if there's any difference in speeds between before and after. I'm actually pretty surprised. I didn't know that. Um, your internet speeds would actually increase if you change your modem but for this case it did just that for your situation it might be a little different uh, your process might all be different but this was just my situation and I figured I'd document it for you all just to see how it get how it's done and to also help you out on your modem research if you're trying to replace it with the rental one because I know that it sucks paying an extra fee a month just to have a rental modem so if you can do this all on your own and save a little bit of money on the side I think it's a win for you so I would I wouldn't mind checking out this modem in particular I think it's it's been working pretty well so far for me and I plan to have it on the long term yeah it's all right everybody well 
that's it for this video i hope you guys liked it if this was helpful please give it a like please let me know down in the comments to see if this worked for you and if you have another modem that you're trying to replace you know how was the process for you was there any different than mine let me know if it all worked out well for you and all right have a good day and i'll see you all in the next one peace